Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood is where film director Morgan Neville grew up. You know, you're just watching King Friday and Daniel Tiger, and, and um, you don't realize that he's actually talking about war or race or um, sexism or all of these things that he was putting into the show. What does assassination mean? A divorce. Some people get married, and after a while, they're so unhappy that they don't want to be married anymore. Morgan kind of forgot about his childhood TV friend for decades until a conversation he had with cellist Yo-Yo Ma, who once appeared on Mr. Rogers' show. And he started talking about Fred Rogers in a way that really surprised me. He said that he and Fred often talked about fame, which he called the other F word, and that fame actually could be used for a positive force. And when he finished telling me this, my head kind of exploded and I thought, I I think there might be more to Mr. Rogers than I ever thought. The more he looked, the more he saw beyond the sweater, the shoes, the trolleys. He knew a movie had to be made. This kind of amazing scene with Francois Clemens, black people and white people weren't supposed to be in swimming pools together in many parts of the country. So he was trying to, in his own quiet way, model what he thought we should be. He calls him a quiet revolutionary. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood went on 50 years ago this year. And in a way, I feel like this film's the most contemporary film I've ever made. Please won't you be my neighbor? 